folks, Jonathan Wilson, and I'm uh, playing my uh, new little thing here, and I'm getting a little uh, feedback going on. This is nice. Anyway, uh, this is a Togaman Spartan model, thin line acoustic. It's made of alder. It has a, uh, in this case, uh, this is a little unique, this has a yellow cedar top on it, or actually a yellow cypress, I believe. And uh, the fingerboard is a vial glide fingerboard. It is a uh, high-tech carbon composite uh, thing of my creation. Uh, there's a big story on that, but I'll leave that one out for later. Uh, one thing that's kind of fun about it is, of course, we can't see it in this light, but these dots will actually glow in the dark. Uh, so if you're like on a dark stage or something like that, you can uh, deal with that. It has a leg peg over here, and this just slides in and sticks in by a magnet. And I can, uh, I have a hole here prepared for a strap if we want to try the uh, sort of the standing uh, style playing. I like prefer the uh, sitting playing though if I really want to get serious because I can kind of get a more of a relaxed, you know, bow stance and bow grip so we can just kind of... And so this, uh, of course, is unplugged. Um, but we do have a pickup system in this, and I'd like to go into that and, uh, for just a second. Anyway, let me get that delay off. And uh, right now we're going through like a, just a pedal board, and I've got a cathedral reverb just to give it a little juice on there. But uh, I want to explain a little bit about how this is wired in. Uh, this is a, uh, an LR Bags Lyric pickup on the inside. And we have, it's uh, got a gain control here, and uh, we have a little sort of a presence thing, which we kind of go in with a mini screwdriver, and we tweak that until we like it. And uh, this typically is an active system, which means that it has a uh, battery-powered thing. What we did was we took the battery-powered aspect out of it, uh, and down here on the board, we have this EMG. Um, it's called a, a PS918, it's, uh, that stands for power supply, 9 volt or 18 volt. Um, I have this permanently sort of in the 9 volt uh, position, which is kind of appropriate. Now, what happens is we have a sort of, a, this is a standby switch, so we can kill it. And when we, uh, we can have an audio panic button. This is a TRS stereo cable. We've got the tip ring sleeve on here. And this goes to the instrument and to that little box, and in that way we power it. And, and that uh, saves us the trouble of pulling a 9-volt battery in and out of the instrument and playing ship in the bottle and all that fun stuff. Um, so we have that, and that's going to this amplifier. I'm going to say a few words about the amp. Uh, this is a um, space station, center point stereo by Aspen Pittman, and it has... Uh, uh, basically, it's a stereo image where one speaker is blasting it this way, and then a lower speaker down below is blasting it to the sides. And it sort of fills a room up really nicely. Gets nice and psychedelic and groovy when we want it to. It has uh, left and right um, audio. Uh, we've got, the, of course, the volume levels and the width, and we have a little mid-tweakage there. Um, we could go to a subwoofer if we felt we needed one. These are really great just uh, if you have like a little mixing board you have basically kind of a grab and go PA system that'll fill up a whole, um, you know, bistro, winery, or coffee house kind of situation, or even just at home. Um, so, anyway, that's, uh, what I like about the amp is it, it has a flat response, and that's very, uh, very helpful uh, for when we're dealing with bowed strings. Uh, the combination of this uh, bag's uh, Pickup and that amp seems to be a really good match. A little shout out to both Aspen Pittman and uh, also uh, LR Bags, Nick over at LR Bags. Hi. Anyway, um, if you want more information on these that I built here, uh, go to togamanguitarviles.com, togamanguitars.com also, and uh, have an exceedingly awesome day and be inspired.